Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our water meth injection in our Tuner Studio software. So when we want to control water meth, we have the ability to not use an aftermarket controller, such as an AEM or a Devil Zone. We have the ability to control the water meth pump directly from our mega squirt. Now we need to use a solid state relay, we need to wire it a certain way, but we have the ability to pulse our water meth pump from a zero to 100% duty cycle scale with a pulse with modulated output. I'm gonna be going over how to do that and all the other details to program it correctly. Now in addition to this, we're gonna be taking a look at working with our pulse width modulated output to control a radiator fan. And that's gonna be using a solid state relay as well. I'm gonna be walking you through that and understanding why you might wanna implement using a pulse width modulated control to your rad fan. Without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our water meth injection as well as controlling a radiator fan with a pulse width modulated output from our Mega Squirt 3 applications. The first thing we're gonna check out here is gonna be our water meth injections. Let's move into our advanced engine. Let's go down here to water injection. Now, this is gonna allow us to control a water meth pump with a pulse width modulated style output. We're gonna to need to use a solid state relay and the relay is gonna be pulse width modulated or pulsed just as we would with a fuel injector or with a boost solenoid from a zero to 100% duty cycle output from our mega squirt. So we have to use a very specific solid state relay and coming up on the screen right now, it's gonna be a Wagner MGR-1DD220D40 solid state relay. You can purchase them on eBay for about nine or $10. They're relatively inexpensive. We're gonna be using this and we're gonna be using it specifically on the ground side of the water meth pump. So we'll find that we have to wire a relay to turn on the water meth pump as we normally would, but the ground isn't gonna go right to chassis ground. We're going to be pulse width modulating it so we can vary the flow or the line pressure that's going into our water meth nozzle. It's gonna be in the charge pipe or the intake manifold. That's gonna spray it into our engine. So we have the ability to change the flow rate and make it a progressive flow. Now, if you're familiar with aftermarket water meth controllers, they all have some sort of a progressive flow um, at least most of them do, um, and you're gonna have that ability to vary the flow with injector pulse width, um, or with engine RPM, or with boost pressure, or with all kinds of other options. So we can do the same thing right into our mega square here. We don't need to buy an auxiliary controller or a whole entire water meth kit. We can just purchase